Hey, uh, Dr. Roos here. Wanted to make this video for uh, the micro classes. Uh, there's uh, assignments that you need to complete for this my, my course, if whether it's online or hybrid. There's uh, there's six assignments right there listed in the grade book like this. They're worth 20 points. And uh, assignment one is a little bit different than the others. For assignment one, right as I put here week one assignment one is to read the syllabus and then take the syllabus quiz right so you complete the syllabus or the the quiz right you find that here in the quiz section and um, I'm not gonna grade it okay so it's just some important things you should know about the class and it's a way to verify attendance for especially the online if they don't if you don't complete this and you're taking this course online, you could be dropped, right? So, you know, you'll have a certain date to complete it by for the, this semester, it's July 9th. You know, if you're taking this in the fall, it'll be a different date. But they want us to verify that you're uh, taking the class. So that's why that's there. So now the other assignments, if you go to the assignment section, let's see. Uh, <clears throat> there's assignment two they're listed now there's not there's due dates listed here right and that's because uh, if you turn it in after the due date I could deduct some points but you're still able to turn it in right there's not due dates for quizzes or exams there's just dates they're available like you see here right it starts July 2nd and it's available to the 28th so after the 28th, if this, someone wanted to turn in this assignment, they could email it to me. I, that'd be okay, but they would probably get deduct, you know, probably five points at least. So, uh, but that's why you see due dates. <clears throat> and then for assignment two, I thought I'd go ahead and just go over one of them to see what, you, what to expect. You know, there are assignment questions, right, which, you know, there'll be a link and then there's the video link in the description, right, each time you take it. So there'll be one of these. Um, <clears throat> they're also found if you go to the content section. I have a list of uh, concept videos, videos. There's assignment video links, right? So all five of these assignments that have videos, they're listed here and then the assignment questions that you download are found there as well. So if you have any trouble getting into the assignment folder, you know, they're found there. So what I expect you to do is to watch the video for each one of these assignments. And what you can do is if you have the question and you read the question, you know what to look for, watch the video. The video will answer the question, then jot it down, read the next question, watch to start to watch the video again right and when you, that answers that question's answered you know write it down now i think one of my questions is what like this first one here the assignment two um one of the questions is what is needed for the electron transport chain right just about anything that you see in that video is needed for the electron transport chain right i mean or um you know, if it's NAD, if it's H, or if it's uh, electrons are needed, electron transport chain, the cytochromes are needed, electron transport chain. But you need to look for your answer in the video. Don't get it from other sources, right? Don't use AI or whatever these new things are, right? I, I expect, you know, the idea is to watch the video, get your question from the video, right? When people miss questions, they're trying to an easier way it's they're not long videos right they're just you know five to ten minute videos you don't have to they're gonna take a lot of your time get just get it done they're painless I promise so if uh, if you have any when the submissions to I put on here uh, upload the if you wanted to take a picture of your answers you know uh, that'd be okay too. But just keep in mind that sometimes, uh, you know, you write down your answers. If you don't save it, 
and then you send me the full the file without the answers because you forgot to save it. Don't send me a pages file, right? If, if you have a, a Macintosh type computer, they'll default the save file to pages. You need to change it to a docx or PDF or take a picture, but it, it's up to you. All I need is your answers, really. I don't need the whole form submitted, but you know, just want to kind of make it as simple as I can, right? You download the completed file to the folder in this assignment. So anyway, I think that about does it. So uh, good luck with your assignments in the class. Thanks.